So <laughs> now we put her on a competitive level. Oh! <laughs> See, I brought this. This is this is now this is my Chiefs book from 2018. Oh my gosh! So which I you know this is so as you can see here, Jules. What what I do before. You know, get rid of the game. I've got every game they played. You know, got and I've this is form I've you know got comfortable using. Ernie cards. Well, so these aren't the cards, but I can. But you know, six when one page you use both sides. Of course, uh, I got sixteen plays on each on each pad. So if I want to find out, because the Chiefs are big, they're repeaters. If they've done something in a critical situation, middle of the season, you get in that same critical situation. Decent chance, you know, you're going to get it again. And and I remember Bill always saying, it's going to be the same play. They might have a different guy. And they may have a different formation, formation or a different way of getting there, but it's going to be this guy here, this guy there, and this guy there. Right, which is – and that's that's typical of most good teams. You know, you get good – you get in the critical situation in the fourth quarter. Like Sean Payton says, you call the plays they know by heart. I have it. I mean, when you're – going down for a game wing drive in the fourth quarter, that's what you want to run, right? The stuff you've been running since training camp, you know exactly what to do. You know, everybody else on the team knows what to do. And that's what you that gives you you most of the time gives you your best chance of success. Now, Ernie, you have a play you so this is your your folder for the Chiefs, Chiefs. 2018. Yeah. Do you do you have a folder for every single mm, team? Probably not not to, not to this detail. Not to, but because I mean I've got I've got every game here, you know. Plus you know some some prior years, uh, and, and one of the reasons because I do the Chiefs is they're really good. So you know when I want to you know I, I don't want to go if I'm going to study you know in the middle of March study a team I'm not going to go study the worst team in the league. Yeah, <laughs> that really doesn't work. I want to see Runs what's somebody Jags, who's baby. good. What what you know what. If there's, is there something they're doing that we can use? Yeah. Uh, and put, you know, putting it all down on paper, to me, is you know, the best way to... Uh, because I will tell you, because you're wearing your Phillips Academy hat, that the best teacher I ever had in my life was my Latin teacher at Phillips Academy who would put us all up at the board before we started a class, and he'd say, we're gonna write, you know, write out this sentence, how you translated it, and he would come and say, oh, lad... If you don't know it well enough to write it down, you don't know it well enough. Now, of course, when I would use, you know, for, for 30 years, I would say that to players. You know, say, hey, I know this play. Okay, put it up on the board. Let's see if you can diagram it. Let's see if you really know it. So I'm a big believer, you know, you really want to know some. Put it down on paper, study it, make sure you got it right. You got to write it down. I wrote down everything. That just make me pay attention. Now, I always remember when we would be playing against these teams, the game plan when you're playing against a Patrick Mahomes team. I, I just remember as an offensive guy, plaster, plaster. We got a plaster. What's the game plan? So the the biggest the biggest what thing is, and what does plaster mean? Plaster means when when the quarterback starts scrambling, you know, you fi fi find the if there's find a, a guy find the, if there's a guy open, go get on him. Mm -hmm. What made this team so? Dangerous was you got Mahomes and you got Tyree Kill, who's you know the the, the speed factor uh, really changes things. So we so we, we got to be over the top on him, you know. The other guys are good, but we have to you know we, we have to take this guy away deep, and that's why I say you always start off what what at the heart of it. What do we really need to do on defense here? So what did we do to do that? So we had Devin, we had we had safety over the top of them all day, um, which you know which worked out. But they got you know that leaves other people one on one. I mean they got it's just we get it later in the game they start hitting us with the backs on the wheels. They hit the big play to Hill when Mahomes scrambled, and now you always premise your defense. We'll get a pass rush. We'll keep the quarterback contained. The ball's going to have to come out in about three seconds when the quarterback gets loose, and now he's got up that five, six second range. You know, things start to break down. Bad stuff happens. Again, this is you get your plan, you practice it, and you do the best you can. Now, how come Travis Kelsey always seems wide open? Because he's, you know, you get, you know, number one, he's got other, you know, other great players around them, so they can't just double up on him. He knows how to work, you know, when the quarterback's moving around, he can he can adjust with it. And you know, and he's you know, he's he's got all the great tools for a receiver. Yeah. 
then when for this specific Kansas City team, the number one thing was we have to contain Hill. We have can't to let him stay, have a big play. Stay over the top of stay him. Stay over the top. Put Jay Jones, our fastest guy, on him. Put our stay, other guys. Put, right. So so if he go, you know, if he goes over to Watkins, he got he got Steph, and there there's a couple plays there in the uh, second quarter. I mean, it's it's back to back plays. I mean, it's, it's Steph just he just wires him at the line of scrimmage. So yeah, you got single coverage, but it's against Steph Gilmore, and the guy can't get off the line of scrimmage. And then you know stuff happens during the game. They hit they hit one big play on him because he kind of takes a sneak. You know what? What do you you can't. Do? I mean, you're an old defensive back. You play in the AFC Championship game. When it's man to man coverage, what's the most important thing? Keep your leverage. Keep your leverage and keep your focus on the receiver. And your receiver. Do not have your eyes in the background. You stick your back. eyes back at the quarterback. It's Gone. over. And even even as great a player as Steph is, got caught one time. He stuck a peep back. And you know it's it's going the wrong direction. So I mean, this is like I say, it's it's a messy game. Stuff happens. Uh, you just keep going. Do do the best you can. And make you try to make more plays for your team than their guys are making for their team. Yeah. You have a plan and all that. It doesn't always work out that way. Yeah. I mean, there's, you always got to adjust as we adjust. know. Okay. Because the other team is doing exactly the other team's trying to counteract what you're doing. Adjust to the adjustments. Yeah. That's how it's simple. What do you think of what the Chiefs have accomplished since this game? It's been phenomenal. Listen, they were, you know, I mean, winning multiple Super Bowls, you know, being and, and really, okay, they they lost one to uh, they lost one because their Tampa. offensive line was crippled up. I, I mean, they've they've been, you know, the, for the last six years, they've been like we were. Go yeah. to the championship game every year. Go to a bunch of Super Bowls. I mean, I take it's it's a tremendous accomplishment. Can you draw any similarities between? This run and our run, you know, just having. I, I, I mean, I'm not there, um, but I know it's you. You've got to have, you know, mentally tough people who know how, you know, who to, to to play over that long NFL season and can know how to show up and be there when it counts. The one thing that I always say when people ask me this same question is, it's been really impressive to see how they've reinvented their team the last three times yep. you know what I mean like they've had to adjust and they you know people don't realize how hard it is to sustain success with a salary cap with when you have to pay certain guys and yep. you don't have enough money for other guys and being having having the the humility and being humble enough to change their team from being a high flying team like they were in this year to a run defensive kind of team these last couple years I mean, that's something that we always had to adjust to. We always adjusted our team to what we could put on the field. Yep. You know, so that's some of the stuff. What makes Andy Reid such a good coach? You know, he's got a uh, he's got a great system. He believes in it. Uh, obviously, knows how to teach it. I mean, he's had he's been doing it now because remember, for him before the Kansas City, there was Philadelphia. Yeah. And. They went to, you know, they had the string there. They went to, you know, several a you know, NFC championship games. And look, when you're in, you know, when you're in the final four and you lose a couple of people say, ah, oh, they're not that good. I mean, that's, you forget it. To get, just, just, to, just to get to the championship game, you got to be really good. There may be somebody who's just a little bit better and beats you, that, that, but that really shouldn't take away anything, anything from what you do. Uh, although... In the end, there's 32 teams in the NFL. There's only one that gets to stand out there, you know, with, the, with that final trophy. So just because, you know, maybe, hey, you didn't quite get there, you still could be really good. you just, you know, not quite good enough to win the championship. How are Andy Reid and Bill different? And how are they alike? You know, your never, talks. Because it's, yeah, I, I've never worked with Andy and, you know, Bill I've known for 50 years. So that's a little bit of a... A hard one for me to. Uh, I've heard that he practices hard. I heard that they practice really hard. You, you know, I, I, that's that's my impression. This is a team when they come out for pregame warm up and nobody's screwing around. I mean, yeah. they they're getting after playing football. Yeah. Um, and you remember, particularly your younger days, I think we practiced hard. We practiced, yeah. I mean, we were we were in pads in camp. You know, Two because, days, run in the morning. Passing the I mean that that's that's classic NFL. Ugh. I mean you know, 
Uh, that's well, that's why guys would have your offensive linemen. They'd have on their uh, you know their seven stud grass cleats for the morning. They'd have on their turf shoes for the afternoon for pass protection. Yeah, uh, it's 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 you know you know the old thing about the different games. Are you familiar with this? A little bit. Okay, croquet is a gentleman's game played by gentlemen. Soccer is a beastly game played by gentlemen. Rugby. Is a gentleman's game and all that. Football is a beastly game played by beasts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean it's you know That's... this this is it's a it's a you know it's a nasty game. And if you want to learn how to play it, it's you know it's it's hard. It's tough. It's tough. You better be willing to bleed, eat some dirt, take a tablespoon of cement. At least back in the day. I don't know about now. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. just joking. I'm joking. Uh, but but it's you know, and that's we say, Andy. I I don't really know any good teams that were soft. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that's this. Some teams maybe have tried, and there's just some of the teams, the players come say, "Whoa, it wasn't like this the last team I was at." Well, great. How many championships did you win? Yeah. Now, did you scout Mahomes coming out of Texas Tech? You know, we did not really. Because this was at the stage we said there is zero possibility of us taking a quarterback in the first round. Yeah. So I mean, but it, he was he he was but but no, I, I wish, uh, I you know I, I wish I could say I I I'd studied yeah. more than I did. But have you seen his evolution from the early part of his career? What have you noticed? How has he evolved? If you've watched it? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, he started off really good, and he's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> that sums it up. You know, and you know, you know, being a good quarterback in the NFL, that's a high wire act. There's no net, so uh, you know, you 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 got to be aggressive with the ball. But you just got you, you know, you got to know at some point there's there's that there's that fine line between being reckless, you know, being aggressive and being reckless. <laughs>